Thank you so much for agreeing to meet with me, Miss Tanaka. I'm sure this hospital keeps you very busy. It does. Your message said it was about a baby. Are you a patient here? Oh, um, no, this isn't about my baby. It's about my baby's father. I need you to be honest with me. I can't believe you're saying this. I'm not the one lying here. Sonny could have lied, and Sam, she sure Carly. is the lie. I'm not trying to bring up a painful subject. I'm just saying I'm the person How telling sure the truth. How sure are you that Johnny didn't frame Sonny? He didn't Sonny. do it. He didn't do it. Based on what? Are you going to stand there and accuse me of sleeping with the enemy just like Sonny? Are you? Can you just forget about Sonny and his ridiculous accusations? Are, are they ridiculous? I want to know about you. How are you doing? I told you I'm fine. Obviously not. Sam lied to you. She did exactly the opposite of what she knew you'd want. I mean, where is she? Sam's gone. Jason Morgan. He would probably be in your records as baby boy Moore. His mother was Susan Moore. Can I ask why information on your husband's birth is so important now? Well, I mean, that's what I'm here to find out. I knew you wouldn't be able to get past Sam lying to you about Robin, and I tried to you warn her. Really I told her she needs to respect your right to make your own decision. Carly, can you just listen to me? No, you what? listen to me. I know making a clean break is going to be really difficult with the baby coming, and she's Sam and I are fine. And insecure. You're fine. You said she's gone. She's in New York City working on a case, and I'd be there with her if I could. You understand that if the records exist for this birth, I can only release them to the patient's next of kin. That would be me. Technically, that would be your husband. No, I'm here on his behalf. But we agreed we need this for our baby. Mrs. Morgan, if your husband wants to see his birth okay, records... Jason was adopted at a very young age. We have little information about his birth mother's family medical history. It is helpful to have a complete history before a baby's born. All Jason and I want is to give our child the best possible start. Those records would really help. I'll see what I could do. as old as your husband's birth records would be archived. We may need more than a name oh, and date. Uh, I have uh, the number from his ID bracelet. Here. Oh, that will help. I think you can find it. I'll do my best. Thank you. Okay, Frank Dahl. What is it you're trying to tell us? You and Sam are still together? Don't sound so disappointed. I just want you to be happy. She's clingy and insecure. She wouldn't let me in to see you, Jason. She wanted to control everything about your recovery, what you could and couldn't know, and when you could know it. Well, we, we worked it out. You're okay with this? <sighs> Sam, she was scared. She thought she was protecting me, especially with the baby on the way. It's, it's, it's going to be a cycle. I mean, if, if she lied to protect you now, she's going to do it Carly, Sam and I are good. Again. Can we just leave it at that? Fine, I don't want to fight with you. Okay, then stop that. stalling and tell me. What's really going on between you and Johnny Zakara? Like I Why are you listening to Sonny? You know how paranoid he is, especially about Johnny. Well, Sonny thinks Johnny framed him for killing a kid, Carly. Okay, I don't know if anyone told you about what happened at the benefit. Johnny showed up drunk, made a scene. Sonny retaliated by telling everyone there that Claudia was really Johnny's mother. Johnny took off, and I went after him. Why, why would you go after him? Because I felt bad. Oh. It's my fault that everyone knows the truth so, about Claudia. So, don't tell me you're feeling sorry for Johnny. I went to his car. He showed up a few minutes later. He said that he had been walking on some ledge, and that's what he does when he's upset. And this is the same time Sonny got shot. He didn't do it, okay? I, I was there. I, I talked to him for a long time, and, and then we went back to his apartment, and I was cold because it was freezing, and I took a shower. You, you took a shower? Then I came down, and Sonny was there. He was there. He was bleeding. He had Johnny at gunpoint. I mean, if I wasn't there, Sonny would have killed Johnny. Well, maybe Johnny framed Sonny for payback. No. Dante showed up, and, and Sonny, they left, and it was the end of that. It was over, okay? And, and you know this because... <sighs> because I spent the whole night with Johnny, all right? There it is. <sighs> Sonny's right. I guess I'm sleeping with the enemy. No, not anymore. Whatever you had going on with Johnny, it's over. Thank you. From what I can see, Susan Moore gave birth to a healthy baby boy. Seven pounds, two ounces. There doesn't seem to be anything remarkable about his birth. Seems like standard birth records to me. 
You can see Susan Moore's medical history listed on the next page. Okay. Everything seems to be... Wait a minute. Is there a problem? Yeah. I mean, it says page 3 3. There's only two pieces of paper. Page 2 is missing. Why? What would be on page 2 of these birth records? I assume it would have more specifics about the birth. Uh, names of the attending staff, next of kin. I mean, I just, why would that be missing? Clerical error? Or someone did it on purpose. <laughs> no records management system is perfect. Things get misplaced, dropped, lost, especially with old files that have been moved in and out of ah, drawers over look the at years. that. There was another staple there. I mean, somebody took out a page and then re it. you found the medical history you wanted. Please, can you, you know, is there any way to retrieve birth. the information from the missing page? Are you seriously trying to tell me who I can and can't see? Johnny would do anything to hurt Sonny, even use you. Okay, there's no possible way that Johnny could be attracted to me no, without I, wanting to punish Sonny. I think Sonny. that Johnny could like you and want to screw Sonny over at the same time. I can make my own decisions without having to have advice from you and Sonny. I'm a big girl, Jason. So, so if I get hurt or I get used, it's my problem, okay? Well, you're going to be stuck in the middle, and that's a bad place to be. I don't care. I like seeing Johnny, and I'm not going to stop. Don't tell me you're falling for him. You do realize... Johnny and I have gotten close. And I get the guy is, is messed up, and he's self-destructive, but I like him. Just think of all the people who could get hurt starting with your kids. He's not going to hurt my kids. No, you're putting Michael and Morgan between their father and a guy you're dating. That already happened with Jax. You saw the damage it did. It could only be worse with Johnny. No! I'm not going to invite him over for Sunday dinner, Jason! Carly! Go find Johnny. And end it. Any chance there would be a duplicate copy of the birth records on file somewhere? I'm sorry, there really is no way to recover the information from the lost page. But you said it probably listed the people present at the birth. <laughs> yes, but we have no way of knowing who the obstetrician was or who was on duty that well, day. You, you know what? I just registered for childbirth classes, and, and they wanted me to put down the name of my birth coach. And if Susan had someone present in the room with her assisting her, it might be on file somewhere, right? Uh, assuming she took her class at this hospital, there might be a registry. Okay, well, maybe you can try and find it for me. It's been a long time. Please, Miss Taka, this is very important to me. I can't imagine why. Please, please. All right, thank you. I'll check. Oh, what is it that someone doesn't want me to find out? Well, I'll be over soon, baby, I promise. I just want to make sure everything's perfect by the time we get here. Hey, where are you? Oh, I'm still at Our Lady of Mercy. Did you get my birth records? Yeah, well, part of them. Nothing we didn't already know. Okay, then, then just, just come home. Oh, well, I'm, I'm waiting for the administrator still. Jason, there's a chance we can figure out why Franco left that DVD of you as a baby. It doesn't matter. Franco's dead. Gotta go. Love you. You're lucky that the hospital administrator at the time was known for being fastidious. Okay, you found something? The registry for the childbirth class Susan Moore attended. And she had a partner, someone who assisted her? Indeed she did. Oh. Huh. I don't have much time to find out who framed Sonny. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to find out if there were any independent contractors in town. Somebody uh, good enough to take out two tires on a moving car with a 9mm. Right, and I'm going to follow up with Bernie by email. Okay, get on it. Does the name mean anything to you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it does. Thank you so much. You've been so helpful. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck with your baby. Thank you.
This is Dr. Weber. Hi. This is uh, Sam McCall. Sam, what's going on? I know this is going to sound really strange, but is there any way you can tell me where